I'm going to be printing on a buyer's choice warranty form to show you how to adjust the alignment just in case it does not align properly on the first print. I went ahead and printed out three pages with the most common alignment problems. The first one is when it prints too far to the left. The second one is when it prints too far to the right. And the third one is when the print drifts down the page. I will cover all three of these. The first one we're going to look at is when it prints too far to the left. On the warranty form here, I'm looking down the left side and everything looks to align properly. Looking around on the form, I notice up in the top right there is a checkbox for male or female, but the alignment is off. The two X's did not land in the checkbox. They're about a quarter inch to the left. So I'm going to need to move everything to the right about a quarter of an inch. To do this, we must go back into Lot Wizard. Go back to Document Printing, and we're going to reprint the form that you just printed. Mine was a buyer's choice, so I'm going to choose to print it again. And it may tell you that your form has been printed. Do you wish to reprint? Say yes. Go ahead and fill in the question screen. And click OK at the bottom. And you come to the print window. Go to the alignment button on the bottom right and it takes you into the alignment screen. We need to move everything to the right one quarter of an inch. You notice down at the bottom left we can adjust a horizontal adjustment in inches. There's a slider bar. We're going to move it to the right 0.25 because we want to move the printing to the right. 0.25 is one quarter of an inch. Let's go ahead and select OK and it'll ask, do you wish to save changes to your defaults? Say yes. Now we need to print again. Go ahead and load a piece of paper and align it properly. Align on line below name. Make sure the SEL button is on on the front of the printer. And then go ahead and click OK and your form should be printing out again. Now let's check out the form again with the adjustments we made. You'll notice everything was moved over to the right about a quarter of an inch. The left side of the form looks good. And the check boxes in the top right corner, they now align properly. So this form is now properly aligned. Now let's check out some other common alignment problems. The next one we're going to check out is when it prints too far to the right. You'll notice in the top right of this form, date of birth and social security number is printing too far to the right. If printing goes too far to the right, some characters may wrap around to their own line. For example, I have circled social security number, which should have four digits on the end of it. It looks like it just didn't print, but it actually did one line below to the far left. In return, this makes the rest of the form print one line too low. To correct this problem, we need to go back to Lot Wizard and reprint the form. So now that we're back in Lot Wizard, let's reprint the form. Make sure you're under Document Printing, tab number 6. And let's reprint the form we were working on, the Buyer's Choice Warranty form. It'll say the Buyer's Choice Warranty has been printed. Do you wish to reprint? Say yes. And the question screen comes up. Go ahead and fill it out. And when you're done, click OK at the bottom left. And we come to the OK Cancel and Alignment buttons. You can go ahead now and load the form in the printer. Make sure you align it on the line below Name. Once you do that, go ahead and click on the Alignment button on the far right. And our form was printing too far to the right. It was about a half inch too far to the right, so we want to move everything to the left about a half inch. So we come down to horizontal adjustment on the bottom left. We grab the slider and move it one half inch to the left, which is 0 .50. Once you get it there, click OK. 
and it'll say do you wish to save changes to your defaults go ahead and click yes and then make sure the SEL button is on on the front of your printer and click OK and your form should be printing now now let's look at the form we just printed out with the adjustments we made it was printing too far to the right about a half of an inch and we moved everything back to the left about a half of an inch this form looks like it aligns properly including the social security number which I have circled up in the top right corner that has been moved to the left and everything else looks fine this form is now properly aligned with lot wizard now let's move on to fixing the third most common alignment problem this is when you print a form and the printing drifts further up or down the page with each line that it prints so for example if you look at this form the first line it prints is name and it looks fine but moving halfway down the form on the left side you'll notice address is about a half a line too low and moving further down on the left side towards the bottom vehicle class number is low by a whole line to correct this alignment problem we need to go back to lot wizard now that we're back in lot wizard we need to reprint the form we were working on I'm gonna reprint the buyers choice it'll say do you want do you wish to reprint the form say yes and go ahead and fill in the question screen and click OK at the bottom and then you come to the OK cancel and alignment buttons you can go ahead and load the form now make sure you align on line below name when you get it in the printer and make sure the SEL button is on on the front of the printer now we need to go into the alignment and if you remember our form was printing too low as it went down the page it was drifting down so on the far right we have a line feed drift adjustment and what we need to do is grab the scroll bar and we're going to pull the print up to about two percent and once you get it there you're going to click OK and it'll say do you wish to save changes to your defaults say yes and then you're going to go ahead and click OK. Make sure it is properly aligned in the printer and the SEL button is on on the front of the printer and then click OK and your form should be printing out now. Now let's look at the form we just printed. We moved the print up about 2%. You'll notice name at the top of the form was not affected and it still aligns properly. Going down the left side to address you'll notice it was pulled up and now prints properly on the line. And going down even further on the left side, you'll notice vehicle class is pretty close to proper alignment. You could go back into Lot Wizard and reprint the form and go to the alignment screen and move the drift feed adjustment up a little more to get the vehicle class number to print perfectly on the line. If the form you're working on is still not aligning properly after making adjustments in Lot Wizard, make sure the revision date on the form which is usually located at the top or bottom of the form matches the revision date on the form you downloaded in lot wizard if the revision dates do not match you will need to go download the correct form from our library if you need further assistance on aligning forms in lot wizard you can call our support team at 1-800-677-7160 this concludes the video on aligning forms within LotWizard.